everyone and welcome back! Let's start implementing the animation of fading in and out our modal component. First, let's head over here to our application module. So as you can see, we have already imported the browser animations module and we have added it here to our root module. So we can now start adding animations to our program. So let's see how we can do that. We are going to be using the Angular Animations module, which is essentially a DSL or the main specific language. So it provides a series of functions that can be combined together to define animations in a declarative way. We are going to define our animation in a separate file. We are going to call it animations.ts. So this file will contain all the definitions of our animations. We are going to be defining two animations, a fade in animation and a fade out animation. And then we are going to link that animation here to the mogul component. We are going to define the animation in a reusable way so that it could be applied not only to the mogul component, but to any other component that we would like to fade in and out. So we are going to import a couple of functions here from the Angular animations package. We are going to import the animation function that allows to define animations. We are also going to import the style function and the animate function. So these are the three functions that we will be using to define our fade in and fade out animations. Let's start with the definition of fade in. So we are going to define here a constant and we are going to assign it the output of a call to the animation function. So the output of this function will return the definition of a concrete animation. This function will take multiple arguments. In this case, we are going to pass it the first argument, which is an array. And this array is an array of the intermediate steps of the animation. So let's start with the initial step. We are going to define the initial step using the style DSL API. We are going to say that initially, as we are fading in, the opacity of the element that we are fading in is going to be set to zero, meaning that it's invisible. So this is the first step of the animation. Then we are going to define the second and last step of this animation. So there could be several steps, but in this case, there are only two. We are then going to define the final step of this animation, where we are going to say that the opacity of the element is going to be one. So the element will be animated from zero opacity until opacity of value one, meaning that it's fully visible on the screen. Notice that what we are defining here is the final state of the animation. So if we want to go from opacity 0 to opacity 1, we are going to wrap this style definition here in a call to animate. So animate is going to take a couple of arguments. The first argument is going to be the duration of the transition that we want to do. Let's add here 500 milliseconds. And the second argument of animate, it's going to be the final styles that we want to apply at the end of this transition. And with this in place, we have defined the animation, the fade in animation, which takes in no parameters. So a definition of an animation could potentially take input parameters. We are going to add that later on in this course. Right now, what we're going to do is we are going to define the fade out animation. This second animation that we are defining only has one animation step. So we are going to use the animate API call and we are going to say that in 500 milliseconds, we want to go back to a style where the opacity is set to zero, meaning that the element has been transitioned and to the point where it's invisible on the screen. And with this in place, we have defined a couple of animations. What we're going to do next is we are going to see how can we apply these animations to the model via the application template. Let's have a look at it. This is coming right up in the next lesson.